we're gonna take a look at connecting custom domains to websites hosted with AppRight. So if you haven't heard, AppRight Sites is now available to all organizations. And this means that everybody is now gonna see this Sites tab inside of their AppRight console. And this is where you can now deploy websites from. So in this video, what we're gonna do is go into the next step here where when we deploy a website, we typically get some AppRight specific domain. And we wanna go ahead and get a domain that we've purchased and connect it to this website. What I'm gonna assume here is that one, you've already deployed a website with AppRight Sites, and two, that you've already purchased a domain with some kind of domain name registrar. So whether that's Bluehost, GoDaddy, Namecheap, one of those, just make sure you have a domain somewhere. Now, in this video, we're gonna use Namecheap, and there's gonna be a specific set of steps that we're gonna go through. If the provider that you're using has some custom steps, we'll make sure to address those and I'll add either a video or an article and link those up in the video description. So if you run into any issues with your provider, just leave me a comment and we'll make sure to follow up with that. So let's go ahead and get into it. And I'm gonna go into the sites tab here. And this is the website that I've already deployed. This is just using the Next.js starter kit. It took me a couple of minutes to do this. It was really fast. And here is that AppRight specific domain and the website that I have here. So at this point, what we wanna do here is go into the domains tab within the site that we deployed and we need to add a domain. Now I've already purchased a domain called tipster.lol. I meant to use this for some kind of side project. I haven't gotten to it just yet. So for now, we're just going to use this for this demo. Now here we can point this to the latest active deployment. We can point this to a specific GitHub branch for simplicity. We're just going to leave this at active deployment and we'll hit add here. Now here, we need to go ahead and verify our NS records here. So what we need to do is basically take these records, add these into our domain name provider, and this is how we make this connection here. So NS records simply just tell the internet which server is responsible for knowing where our domain's address is and how to find it. So that's all this is doing. We're not gonna get too far into this, but for now, instead of verifying it yet, because we haven't taken the next step here, we're just gonna go ahead and close this out and I'll show you where you can get these records from. So let's go ahead and click on X. Here we see that the verification has failed, so it hasn't done anything yet. And we're gonna go into the next step here and we're gonna go into the organization overview tab. And here is where we can see all the domains across all projects inside of this specific organization. So we just have the one here. Now to see all the DNS records here, we can click on this and here we'll see both NS records, the C name and a name records. So this is where we can create them and just manage everything. Now I'm going to go into Namecheap here and this is the domain that I purchased here. So it's tipster.lol and we're going to go into domain here. And the way we're going to make this connection is by going into the name server section and I'm going to click on custom DNS. And here is where I'm going to add both of these NS records. So we'll copy NS1 and we'll paste that here, and then we'll do the same for NS2. So once these are added, we're gonna go ahead and click that green checkbox. We're just gonna go ahead and make sure that that's saved, and that's all we need to do on the Namecheap side. Now, when we go back to the AppRight side of things, we're gonna see that this domain is not yet verified. So what we're gonna do here is go ahead and click on retry. We're gonna try to re-verify this process, so we just wanna click on that. And this might take a couple of minutes, sometimes it could take a couple of hours, and I see that mine has now been verified. So if I open up this domain, we should now see this verified status right here. So this could take a few tries, so just make sure to be patient with this. And from here, we can visit the domain. And let's just try to add this in. We'll do tipster.lol, and here is the website. Now, sometimes your website might not show up right away. What you should do is go ahead and clear your browser cache. Try to visit this from a different device, so maybe from your phone, a different computer. Uh, either way, it should appear if you did everything correctly here. So simply just a little bit of patience. I've seen this even take up to a few hours at times, but that's rare. So that's all we needed to do to connect our custom domain here. So we added a domain to our AppRight site. We went ahead and took those NS records, added them to Namecheap, and then just verify the site. And that process was pretty easy. So again, if this is different for a different provider, we'll make sure to cover that in a video or an article. With that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.